And there, we are live. Um, trying to get an angle on this. Let's see if this works. Right, let me just find this stream so I can check it, see if it works okay. First stream on the new phone, hopefully everything goes as planned. find the stream first before we can start shaping and then tell you what I'm going to do see if it works and um, what game testing can you hear me testing yeah so it was like a a minute no a second or two delay I'll see that in front of here. And that's better. Welcome everybody. What is it? This is for the the shaping challenge that I just uh, up up uploaded. This is mine. The ancient dragon uh, tarantula or spider, however you want to call it, or insect. I mean, it's got, it's got more than four legs, so that's what I'm going to plan to do. Try and puff out the body. Obviously, I won't get it all done um, on stream, but uh, we'll just start it off. Uh, you know, the only thing I'm not sure what to do with is the neck so far. I'm going to keep the mouth the same, so that... that so it's noticeable as an ancient dragon and then because it's a like a spider-ish insect even though it's got more than four, uh, eight legs I'm going to get rid of the spikes and then wrap each one around a ball of blue tack and then try to bring it together so it's like eight eyes if that makes sense <laughs> and um, same with this one here so I'll probably just try and do that first. Oops, alright. See if I'm at a good angle. <laughs> Dude's got got all the leg flaps from where though. Uh, I don't have a pen, do I have a pen on me? Quickly show you. Oh, yes I do. I do have a scrap bit of paper. Um, I'm going to wait. Uh, I think you'll see this. Basically, um, when you open the... Move these out of the way. Now, the, how's the quality for this stream? Because on my tablet it's showing it's blurry. Hopefully it's not that bad. But, for the wing, when you open the wing up, you basically have the edge, um, what was it? The edge, and then it's, it's going to be a bad drawing, but basically have something like that. And then, all right, it's good. That's fine. Okay, looper is through. So you basically have something like this. That's the middle flap, and then. Then you open it up, this is the edges. Basically, you make what I do, puffed it out. Yeah, you, you spread this apart and then make a mountain fold. Yeah, something like that. I can't remember what I did exactly. Uh, well, my drawing's terrible. You make a mountain fold here and then it's valley fold here. Something like that, but um, the length of the the sides is the length of the leg. This is a terrible drawing, but 
it's similar to that. You just fold these in and then hide the excess paper. So that's one, two, and three extra ones. It's hard, to, it's hard to show, but that's what I did. And then you end up with three more legs, which once they are completely glued, I'll basically fold them all in half and then like spread them out. So that's what I did. Um, my day is going great, GP. Thanks for asking. How's yours going? Just the first stream since getting a new phone. Hopefully it's going good. Uh, I may need something better to watch it on. Maybe that's why quality doesn't show as good on an old tablet. But for those that just joined, the plan is keep the mouth the same so it's noticeable as an ancient dragon and then get rid of the spikes make them balls instead um, so it looks like like insect eyes, spider eyes something like that so there should be nine in total plus the one in the centre yes the tail Alexander becomes the back so if I basically unfold it that's the tail then you just make a pleat depending on the size and fold it over and then sort of round it up to be a body. I was originally going to do it as uh, something else, can't see it on the stream, but if you know what it was then um, you know that. But it looks better like this. So if I didn't have that, I wouldn't have a body. So I could just I could th round it more later on. So let me just try this first. Let me try this middle one. And if I can get it in place, then I can just um, glue all around it. Yeah, I don't know where I'd put it. Let me just try it right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it through this paper. That's fine. So I'll basically have eight of those. Or nine, nine of those. Can you see that all right? So that's one. So let's actually just do all these. Why not? Could I probably made them bigger? It's going to look real wacky once it's all glued. I'm going to get them in position first. And then I'm happy with it. And then I can glue it all. Try and hide all these extra layers. So that's two. Ben, welcome to the stream. Um, I am doing great, thank you. How are you? You've been folding much? I mean, I do have extra paper. You could even do double, add another set of ball, another blue tack. To have double dies, that would be pretty cool. And I'm basically just open up and putting it in the center, like the middle layer, and just folding all around it, and I'm hiding it all. I mean, it'll look much better once it's all, it's all glued, it'll make more sense. Yeah, the ancient spider. Yeah, that's actually a good name for it. I could call it that. It's going to take a lot of work in progress to hide all this paper. 
Yeah, I'll do this and then I'll shape a leg, the front ones. I'll see how thin I can get it with this paper. I think I need one more blue tuck. Yeah, I think I only made nine. All the ones I'm missing. Yes, it's definitely going to need a lot of cleaning up. Like, it's going to be so funny when it's done. I could have probably even made them bigger. Yeah, I know it's been, um, you've been doing a lot of push-ups. Doing a crazy amount. Like a hundred of the day, near enough, 200 of the day. That is a lot. Yeah, so it definitely looks like a mess already. That will all make sense when it's when it all comes together. I miss. I need one more. I'll just make this this size. Right, that's basically the, the head that just needs shaped and glued lots of, and lots of glue to hide um, all these layers and then to try and bring it all together to sort of resemble a spider head with all those eyes. Now we're going to make a uh, shape the leg. I'll start off with the leg. Why not? Let's see how thin we can get this. So we're going to use a lot of glue. Also, I won't get it all done um, on this stream, but we'll start it off. And we're just going to hide. No, not hide. Um, glue it in between all these layers. Yeah, you're true. Anyone who is new to origami won't see. Yeah, that's definitely true. And they probably won't understand as well what's happening. So I need to try and get in between every single layer. I'm not sure if I should do this like a normal uh, tarantula leg or just thin it down as much as possible and then like add a bunch of crimps. Maybe add 2 to 1, 3 to 1 to make it look even more uh, weird or creepy. <laughs> Unit as uh, Robert Lang's three point old tarantula. Oh god, it would hit you forever. Uh, I'm actually I'm really curious to see how this is going to turn out once it's all in place. I'm really curious to see. It's going to look so. I mean, 
you are going to be so impressed at how good this is going to be that you'll start shaping yours like this. Going to be, going to be godly, godly shaping. So I'm just flooding every nook and cranny with glue. The more I can glue, the more air I can get out, the thinner I can get the paper, the thinner I can thin it down near enough. Can't believe I'm doing this to an ancient dragon. Am I at a good enough angle for you to see? Am I close enough? I'm just, I mean, it looks like I'm fine. I'm at a good distance. Yeah, I'm going into the other leg, so I'll leave, I'll stop there. Let me see, I need to clear glue for the toes. Right, thin down time. Maybe can I add any more to the inside? I had some more in here. Just to help it stick. No, the 4.0 doesn't exist. The one I showed is just the 3.5 the head is mirrored three times or four, yeah, four in total to make. Let me show you if I can reach it. So that's it. So, no, it doesn't exist, it's just mirrored. And I'm curious to see how this is um, going to collapse when I do it. Um, I'm going to do it live. I asked if I should do it as a tutorial or um, a live. But yeah, most said both, so I just went my wife. It would be more fun as well to see everyone joining, like, oh my god, no way! And then find out it's fake. So we have thinned down. Now we've glued all the layers on the leg. Normally you would make an ancient dragony look, but we're going to try and thin it down as much as possible. Um, I'm trying to think if I should just, like, like would, would that be good? Just one? Or should I add? I don't think I should do, like, three. Um, let me see. One, two. And I can have it sticking up. And then down. And then down. Nah, I'll just go with one. I'll just go with one. That'll be easier. So let's just again flood with glue. We can get it really thin, which is really good. And again, I'm not that bothered if I get glue marks because this is an abomination of a fold. Or the best abomination fold you'll ever get. And I just force all of this inside. Then I'll use some clear glue.
Well, that is pretty thin for an ancient dragon leg, don't you think? Um, you're joining the Reusion group, nice. I'm 10 years old and I fold the Reusion 2.0. If you are, that is amazing. Um, keep it up. Um, enjoy it while we do it. And that's that, that's amazing. That is actually so cool. Whose design is it? Are you talking about this or someone else's? Uh, Deshna? Or the, was it the Reusion? I showed the CP. Yeah, so the leg is fine. Leg's fine. Um, let's just flood the toes with glue. Again, if I can thin these down as much as possible, I will be very happy. I'll just go with clear glue. And the benefits of using clear glue is also it dries clear. It's not as strong as wood glue. Because wood glue is an actual proper glue, whereas clear glue is not as uh, not the best quality as compared to wood glue, but it dries clear as well. So that's a really a really neat touch. That doesn't always stick as well. Oh, wait, Grant, did you get a good uh, tally on the amount of 3.5s? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to assume that's for the how many regions. If it is, yes, I've got quite a, quite a few. And uh, not just the 3.5s, like all versions. Yeah, I've got probably close to about 300, maybe 300, 380 in total so far, which is really neat. And that's, that's not including the people that haven't sent in any. And if you don't know already, I've announced it a few times, quite, quite a few times. Uh, I only use what people send in, so that way I don't need to chase up people. And there's a few friends that haven't sent in any. And there's a few other folders that haven't sent in theirs, which I wouldn't use unless they send it in. But closer to the time, I'll ask them if they want to have theirs included, but yeah, there, it would probably be a lot more if, um, if I didn't need to, if I, if I had to uh, chase up people, it would be a lot more. But yeah, I've got a really good amount so far, and I'm looking forward to it. It's probably going to be the biggest video of this year, easily. So that's, that's your ancient dragon. Um, claw. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'll shape it when it's um, like in position. You, you just can help with that. Give me some ideas on how to shape. What should I do with it? I mean, it's actually this is so satisfying knowing that I can. I'm not worried about how, getting things absolutely perfect. I don't need to worry about having it look good. I can. Uh, screw up as much as possible and not feel bad about it. I can basically do whatever I want and I'll be looking forward to the outcome. Now I'm just flooding all the, the last layers of the last two claws. I was thinking of like early stretching to get rid of a, one of the two claws. So I'd have three, but I would have a bigger distance between one of them, uh, two of them. So they would, would be bigger, but I thought I'd just keep it like this. I mean, I could do that with an, another set. Maybe make one um, different from the others. Maybe make two different. That should be enough. Try that. And then we just thin it. 
あどれくらいにしたっけほんと私はこれでそう言うと。And I'll, I'll be able to thin it down more when the glue dries, which is good. You could potentially put that into a person. That makes sense. Like, <laughs> ancient dragon with、um, human walking feet. <laughs> oh, wow, I never thought of that. That's something. Like, hu-、uh, ancient dragon spider 4.0 with Chad feet. How about that? <laughs> like, I'll keep it like that for now. I won't. I won't ruin that. That'd be funny. Hey, super sorry I'm late. Don't be sorry.、Um, hand model. The stream. Oh, yeah.、Uh, let me see. My dog eat my r e u g e n e It was probably a bad r e u g e n e then. Because pets can tell right away when things are bad or not. I mean, l o p e r Ball came up and、uh, pee on this if he saw it, but he can't see it. I can't let him see it. He would do that. I haven't finished mine, but if I send some pics and will it count? Yes. Then you have.、Um, this Christmas is when I'll release the video. Near, like, before Christmas, like the 20th of December, I'll have everything in place. And then, like, when I wake up that day, I'll render it all. So you've got, you've got, you've got till December. So you've got up till, like, the 20th of December. So, again, there's no rush to send them in. So, I guess I could do something like that. I can have his wee arm pointing up. So, he, walk, he walks on、um, human, human chads. He walks on those. So, this sort of be like that. And for those that have just joined,、um, if you're wondering what all this is, the spikes on the head were. Be placed with、uh, balls of blue tack to obviously because it's an insect or insect ish spider, whatever the hell it is.、Um, I'm going to, once it's all glued and all these layers are, hid, are hidden, I will try and bring it all together to make like eyes to, 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 to resemble eyes. And then I'll keep the mouth the same. So it's、uh, basically that's the only part that will resemble an ancient dragon. So it's like noticeable, like when you see that, you think Ancient Dragon, and then the abomination that, that comes with it. So that's good enough for now.、Um, yeah, that will harden, and then I'll be able to shape it more. Let's do the next one. So from that. to that. I'm, I'm loving it, I'm digging that, I'm digging that. Um, let's, let's do the same again. And what I meant by L stretch is just pull this right apart and then sink it in, and then you'll have、um, like、this, this one and this one will be bigger, or this one will be bigger. You have more gap. I'll probably do that with like, a, like the back one just to make them different from the front. So, same again, we're going to glue all of these layers.、Uh, which one's the glue one? That's the clear glue. So, how's everyone's day going so far? Let me scroll back to the comments. Yes, Grant is making everything into this ancient spider.、Uh, spider yes. I should like, try and shape a part of a different model into this. So, it's like an all in one model, if that makes sense. Like, include something from the Serbius. Has wasp,、um, phoenix. I could, have did a, I could have did a phoenix tail, like, like going all the way up. I mean, there's so many things to do. I might need to fold more of these and just ruin them to fulfill my ideas. I may need to do that. Oh, and are you going to enter the next shaping challenge? For those that are watching, do you plan to enter? I mean, you, you don't know how much fun you're missing out on doing this on a model.、Uh, 
screwing intentionally, screwing up the shaping to create an abomination your eyes will never want to look at again. And also what model should I do it on? I mean, I've been given a lot of model ideas, like the tree frog, that's probably a good one, a Camille's tree frog. Simple to make, um, everyone should know how to do it, everyone should have instructions, that would be fun. Or Eric Joseo's uh, dwarf gnome, I can't remember which one it was. That would be a good one as well. Thanksgiving break, so it's pretty chill. Good. good. Um, yeah, we just went back into a lockdown as well, which is overly needed. So that'll make things more relaxed as well here. Yeah, the dragon walks on Chad's. Yes, that, that's the plan. Look, we have the two legs. Um, his right arm is going down, the right arm is going like up, like pointing at someone. <laughs> the Chad dragon. Oh, this is going to be so good. I mean, I know, this is going to be like the best one ever. I, mean, I don't want anyone copying my ideas for shaping the ancient dragon. These ideas are patent. Patent. That's how you pronounce it. Patent, yeah. So you can copy them. Broken. I need more glue. Going for a lot of glue. You just finished uh, Shukikato's elephant. Nice. That's a model I am planning to make very soon. Uh, papers all made and ready upstairs. But I've got because my um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, my objective for folding is. To finish what I start, whereas like the past couple of years it's been once I get to this base, like just say this, I'll put it to a side because I see something uh, else I want to make, and then that's it. This collects dust for five years, and then I'll finally finish it. So I'm finishing what I started. I'm doing it all different, how it should be, because by the time I come back to this after five years, I'd have completely forgotten what I'm doing, so it probably wouldn't be as good. But yeah, ancient uh, the elephant's on the list. So it's just figuring out when. I really want to start it as well. Yeah, made really nice paper for it. Oh, you scroll down to that panel. You made it in two days? You made what in two days, Tobias? Uh, I'm going to scroll up. Ancient trick, ancient chicken, <laughs> ancient chicken. Oh God, so much glue. Are they too much here? Ah. You can see this, don't worry. It's all going hidden. We don't make mistakes, we make happy mistakes, as Bob Ross says. Happy little mistakes. I think that's everything on this side. Oh, I missed some here. It's important to glue every single part. You want to get as thin as possible. Well, in my case, I do. So I can't really miss anything. So what would be an appropriate title for this, this model when it's all finished? What should be the, the 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 name? I'll give it. And it's got to have four point at the end. 
All right, see you, Tobias. Thanks for joining. A school night. A snowball isn't about to happen. So I'm fine with this. Oh yeah, I need to glue some of the inside as well. Should probably buy like a little something to inject the glue in, something super thin, like a, a needle or something. Just for parts like this. That, that, that would be weird. Missed one. Yeah, that should be enough. Right, let's go in the middle. In fact, I already have done that, so it's, I need to go here. Yeah, that folds over. So we're fine. We're good. Right, have you ever folded uh, Robert Jinwang's Cicada? Um, only his, an older version, uh, which I gave away in a giveaway, but no, I've never actually made his fully. Um, I've only ever did the one I gave away quite a few years ago. But I've got uh, cottage upstairs, ready to shoot. Well, I'm off insects at the moment, so I'll get to that whenever. But no, I haven't fully um, shaped that model of Langs. I mean, I, wait, I, I did make one years ago. It's in, it's in an old um, collection video I did years back. I can't remember which one it was. I'm sure it's from a book of his. It may be that one, actually. Um, I'm doing upside down. Right, let's turn this down. So, like, a little tip when you want to thin down, like, appendages or things, like, flaps that are equal. Normally, you would, you'd open it up to glue it all and then fold it in half and half. It's basically the same process. I'm just squishing it until it's evenly spread, like evenly equal on each side, and then I'll just add some clear glue, like depending on how much you want it stuck, you'd add the appropriate amount of glue. And then tweezers, then I'll probably start from the thickest part, which is the, like the bottom, and then just grab a few layers and then push in. And then you force all this paper inside. And if you manage to glue all the layers uh, between all the layers, then it should stick. I'm going to need to clean these. And then you manage to um, get it nice and seam seamless. Uh, also, should I make um, the same length, like here on here, or should I decrease it, or bring it all the way down so it's like just the tip, like that? And um, what should I do? Let me see. Oh God, this noise coming. Has anyone, anyone ever folded those modular skeleton models? I tried making one with the smallest sheets possible so that I could stand, but it doesn't. Besides making a stand, how can I fix this? Um. Oh, the skeleton ones, I've made, oh, I can't, I can't remember the name of it, but I made one, but um, I made a stand for mine, for metal, like you just, like put a piece of wire in the neck, uh, wire in the tail, and then, for me, I just balanced it, but other than that, unless you have everything perfectly glued, and then it's, it's all perfectly balanced, like, like from the, like, on, on that model, the head, the front part is heavier, um, the tail's lighter, but the thing is, it's a T-Rex, so it's only got two legs, so trying to balance it on that 
wouldn't really work. I would definitely, uh, definitely recommend uh, making a stand for it. If, if, if you can, doesn't need to be amazing, just two bits of metal, or even like people have like a wooden frame where like th this is wood, and then they'll have uh, a bit of wood coming out here and then here, then that attaches into the model, and then you can move it about. That's something you could do. Um, but yeah, a stand would be recommended. I would definitely uh, recommend a stand because those models are. If it's a model that has to stand up, then definitely a stand. But if it's one that can lie flat, then of course you don't need one. Um, I think it's like a turtle skeleton. You could have that lying flat or a nice stand where it's like up at an angle. But yeah, I definitely recommend a stand for those ones. Right, the legs again. Chad number two. Chad number two going to be buff. Chad number two lifts. Can you fill up all these layers of glue? And once I do this, I'll go back to the first one to see how the texture is because of this, uh, because of the time frame. When I, when, since I did it, um, it should be uh, slightly harder and easier to shape. But, shape this one first. When I mean, you do things like this you just just squish it all together. Like if you're doing spikes on legs or like the parts that come out of the top of the body just glue it, squish it all until it's as thin as possible and then like curve it how, how, however you want. That's what I do in a work. Of course, everyone has their own preferences. God, so many layers. Last one on this one. How did you all learn to solve crease patterns? Basically, just um, starting from easy ones, I could say. Uh, I remember doing like an easy line model from his website. Um, it's like a little tiny scarab beetle. Um, but it, it's the that drive that you get when you, you you see something you want to make because the more you do origami, the more years you put in, the more you realise that the things that you really want to make come from, like this just example, they come from images like this. There's no tutorials, there's no guides, it's just an, an image with lines, coloured lines, different angles, so it's the, if I can learn how to do this, and then that gives me a better chance to make something that I want to make. It will help me get to that point where I can say, I know how to collapse that, I can make it. So that's the that's, that's what it was for me. It's just that drive, that feeling of something that's stopping me from making it is not knowing how to follow a crease pattern. So I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm going to figure out how to do it. I'm going to practice. And that practice over time, it pays off. Because eventually you'll have that model. Or you'll be able to make it. And then once you get on those stepping stones, it, it just goes from there. You just keep learning. You just keep going. That's what I do. And then you get more comfortable with things. And then... It all falls in place. That's my story. That's how it worked for me. And I'm glad I did, because I don't know where I would be if I still couldn't learn how to fold crease patterns. It's hard, it's difficult for everyone. It's different for everyone, because everyone learns at different speeds. 
I mean, there's people that can do complex crease patterns from starting them. Um, and there's people that takes years just to get to the easy ones. So it's different for everyone. And the only way of knowing when you'll be at that point is just to try. There's no harm in trying. Right. Here we go, chad number two. Well, let me go back to this one, see if I can turn it down even more. I could even give him feet, I could give him feet. I could give him feet. I just thought of that as well. Oh my God, it's gonna be so cool. Very long to comments. Um, I'll wait till someone solves it for me. Again, you can do that as well. Um, but the thing I wouldn't recommend is following tutorials forever because with a tutorial, the person showing you has solved everything. They've done all the problem solving. They've planned it all out. They will show you how to make it all. If you just keep following that, um, you won't really learn anything. It gives you a good understanding of how to do it. But in the end, you need to quit tutorials and then uh, do more diagrams, do more crease patterns. That's the best way to learn. Oh yeah, from Boyce's class as well, that, that helps a lot. He does a lot of uh, the beginner things, which are real important for models later on. Uh, crease patterns later on. So definitely check his out. Uh, anyone could link his channel, that would be great as well. So people know where to find him. Uh, I don't know who Mike Boyd is. don't know who that is. But I'm way behind. Alright, uh, see ya. Hi Finn, thanks for joining. Yeah, let me try and get on feet. I can't really put a... They need to be quite big feet. This is where tweezers come in so handy. Um, I can't thin it down enough to apply... Right, I probably could. Need to flatten it as much as possible, and then try and reverse it in. No, I'll just keep it like that. It's too small; it won't, won't fully work. But yeah. So he he has feet. Can you see that? All right. Or Chad number one has feet. Um I I could even puff out his like his little like I could do like a little bicep. <laughs> there we go. That worked perfectly. First try. Guys, we've got a buff Chad. There you go. You see that as well? <laughs> he's got a tiny muscle. <laughs> he's got tiny feet and he's got a tiny muscle. Oh, that's just going to be so fun. Um, too bad I don't have enough paper to like give him like a sort of eye or body. He just got a big blob for a body. Wait, what are you shaping? I am shaping the spider, uh, Kamiya Spider Ancient Dragon 4.0. And that's what I'm shaping. That's what I'll call it. No, yeah, I need a more fancier name. I think I need uh, like Chad in there somewhere. Just add some clear glue to this to try and stick it better. Um. Yeah, they won't thin down so much right now because the glue is still wet. It'll be easier when it's when it dries. And that's number two. Again, he'd easily shape that into a nice, like, claw for a dragon or something, but that's not the case. So let's give him... Um, I'll do feet later on because of um, the glue's still wet. It won't, it won't hold in place, so I'll leave it like that then. 
Yeah, so we've got to turn that into Chad number two later. Or probably off camera. I won't again do it all this. <laughs> what should I call my ancient dragon? Um no no he, he never made this ogre, I'm just joking. That's just the it's a funny shaping of his ancient dragon. Yeah. We have two. Yeah, we've got four more legs. And then the body. It's gonna look crazy. Um what should I shape next? I'll I'll do the mouth. I'll get the mouth in place so I don't screw up too much. I'll just unfold all these layers. And let me see, I don't need to glue that but Because the mouse just going to be kept, the mouse going to be the original part left on the model, so it's somewhat noticeable as an ancient dragon. If I got completely rid of it, then it probably wouldn't be as noticeable. So I thought I'd keep this the same. I want to try and have some some resemblance to the the AD. Um, in the model. I won't bother with a tongue. I don't need that. And I was thinking I would just completely thin down the neck as well, or even get rid of the neck. I'm not too sure yet on what to do with the neck. Let me just fold all these layers down. So I'll definitely get this finished quite quick. Probably get it done tomorrow. And then show on the next day. Alright, so thanks for joining Arvind. I will see you later. I hope you enjoyed the stream for what I showed so far. And then just this part. And that's the bottom one done. Just to the top one. Right, I'll probably just refine uh, these parts on camera and then that'll be enough for the stream. I'll do that. So let's see how good we can get this part. And then I think that's the top one done. Let me just glue these parts as well. Don't know how I'd shape it, just, just normal, like a normal mouth. Normal mouth type. Again, I, I could get rid of the neck, maybe. No, that wouldn't work. I'll keep the neck. I could have all the legs down as normal and then the neck coming up with the spider head. That could work. Um, I could do the neck them now, but I've not really glued these parts. Let me just, no, I'll do these parts first. Um, I'll use glue glue. I'll just use the wrong one, I'll use white actually. We need to get rid of all these parts, we need to hide them all. I just need to force it together. And I'll take a lot of touching up. I'll use clear glue for this one. <laughs> I 
Did you name your cat Shuki Kato? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's good. Shuki Kato. With a C. Got to get super duper precise going for these pops. I mean, I, I could put another one in here, maybe. There's another, there's another point here, which I could do. There's a possibility. Yeah, but I've had a lot of clear glue, uh, white glue as well. The more, the better. The more I can get it to stick together. God, it's going to be so much uh, shrinking down on this pop. Uh, thank you, Danielle. Um, yeah, I am hoping to get this all right. Uh, it'll be much easier to put all together when, the, when they're all glued and then all these extra layers are hidden. But I'm, I'm looking forward to this as well. Hopefully it works. I mean, it's going to work. I'm going to make it work. Need to stay positive. And it'll look much better when the necks uh, basically shrink down like the legs as well. It'll look better like that. Oh, we're just adding so much glue in here. If there's an opening, it gets glue. And yes, it's going to need a lot of touching up, so I'll do all that off camera, obviously. So I need to open up this one, smother it with glue. And one more there. And then add some in the bottom here. That should be enough. And then just push it all. And it'll be like a cluster. It'll be like a... <laughs> This is going to be good, this is going to be good. You're doing an ancient dragon as well. Um, awesome. Just don't do it as good as this, obviously. Like, uh, that's illegal. You're not allowed to do that. I'm joking. How about shaping it like the Peacemaker Revolver? What, the neck? Super? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by, like... Like, 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 like the top part? I'm not sure. Yeah, I need to go in there as well, but I'll glue these parts first. Need more glue. I'm not going to bother with clear glue, so let's just get rid of this. For this part, I need this. I need as much strength as possible to um for everything to hold together. Oh, like the back of a handle? Oh uh, yeah, I could do that actually. But I'll I'll play about with it off camera just to see like what my options are. To see what I can get it like. But I just want to get this part as thin down as much as possible. It should all shrunk completely.
God, this is going to look so weird. Yeah, and I'll get another blue Titan Ball. There you go. One more for the top part of the eye. Yes, Suraj, I um, decided to get rid of that idea, sadly. Um, <laughs> keep it more friendly, uh, in a way. But if I did do that, then the tarantula wouldn't really have like a top part of the body. So I thought I would just do that instead. I think it looks pretty neat. But yeah, I could always include that in a different model. I mean, the idea is spectacular. But I will say that for, I'll say that for something else, most likely. I'm just rolling this up. Probably too big. Probably too big as well. That should be fine. So I'm just going to try and insert it into this part here. And then, there yeah, that's worked fine. And then form it around it. Right, so once I shape this part, we're halfway on the, the eyes. So let's just again, let's just go everything that we can see. The plan is, if we don't already know, just to shrink everything down as much as possible. So we'll go with this first. Like that. And I could add more in there, but I'll do that after. So like that, so it's th starting to come together. So you, I'll, they'll basically all be dripped, sort of like an insect eye, like that. That's what I'm aiming, that's what I'm aiming for. So it'll be like that all the way around. Once I have all these glued, I'll compress them all, and then maybe bring this like the mouth down. So I'll <laughs> be like that. Oh and uh Suraj, if you just did you just join? If you did, um I did something different with the legs. I have Chad legs, he walks on Chad legs, if if you're still here. So he's got two legs, two arms. He has, he only lifts with his right arm. So he's got a little muscle here and he's got his arm pointing up and he's got two little legs. So he, he walks on Chad's. He's the, the, the Chadinator, Ancient Dragon 4.0 spider-ish. And then the same on this one, I'm just waiting for, oh yeah, it's actually starting to dry. I could add it, I'll add them after this. Yeah, I'm in. The eye zone at the moment. So, right, the lopper's me on. He wants in. So yeah, I'll do this, and I'll try and refine it after it, then I'll put this little guy in place, and that will be the stream. That should be a good amount done so far. To try and get it the way I want it to look. Oh my god, look at all them together already. It's not even been refined yet. There's still three more here. 
So let's go to the next one. Whippers are wondering about. Up to no good as usual. You want through? Oh yeah, I'll go nothing through in a second. Oh yeah, I need to add some here as well. Don't think I added any on this side on the previous ones. But I can come back to that easily. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let them go through. So two more, touch up the other side, and then we should be good. Yeah, this is definitely an abomination, an extraordinarily abomination of a fold. It's going to look so crazy when it's all done. I've always had that idea of um, shaping things funny like this. Well, I've always wanted to do that, so now I can finally do it. Right, let's fold this one back over. That's gonna be this is gonna be so good. Last one. Then I'll touch it all up. I don't know if you can hear a little crunching in the background. Are you able to hear that? I'm munching on these biscuits. Gonna need more glue. I went through a lot of glue in this model. So far already, I probably wouldn't even use as much in other ones. Hey, you up on this table. Look, is, it, is this any good? Ah, oh. Penny is doing uh, fantastic. Yeah. You're welcome, culture and art. Hopefully, this is entertaining enough. Whopper approves. He didn't pee on it. But yeah, Pet Penny's doing great as well. They're all doing great. All been looked after extremely well. Treated like kings. They get treated better than me. I'm just sitting on the edge of the table. Cleaning his paws. Hold this upside down. Wait, I need to wrap this round more. Like that. Okay, so it's basically at one place. I just need to touch up. I need to fill in these gaps. Loose flaps that are going a bit everywhere. This is where more glue will get used a lot more. I'll just fill up these parts, may as well. So it can start to come together and hold in place.
Yeah, that's holding much, much better. Yeah, I just need to pull out this layer more. Wrap it around. Hide it. Yeah, I need to glue here. Lippers, Lippers jelly beans are super pink. They're so adorable. So he did it, the ancient dragon base and is trying to mess it up. Yes, that's the plan. If you yeah, scroll back a few videos, I uploaded a shaping challenge where the challenge was to make the ancient dragon but shape it really funny, like the opposite of an ancient dragon. Like give it insect legs, like thin down the legs as much as possible. Um, You'll see the results in the results video, I think I uploaded a few days ago. Check that out. Um, that'll give you a better idea of what these shaping challenges are all about. It'll make more sense to see the results. But that's the plan, yeah, to screw up the shaping for whatever model it is. Yeah, so I need to hide this part that's just sticking right out. And then once I have all these in place, it's just a matter of trying to uh, make it like even in a way. I could just do a big massive mouth. Maybe. But I've missed some parts on the mouth as well. Alright, thanks for joining Ar Arvind. Thank you very much. I hope you liked, liked the video. Or, yeah, you know what I mean. I hope you liked, I hope, hope you enjoyed what you see. And then I'll just go for these parts. And this should hopefully bring it all together for the left hand side. Because we've glued all the parts for the layers. Uh, the layers for the eyes, but this is the layers for the parts under the eyes. So we can stick this to the general part of the body. Then it should be more easier to put in place. That's the top of the mouth. Don't want to glue in there. to um, pull the layer out over this one more. I don't really want to see the blue tack. I can just grab this layer. Hopefully it's not fully glued. It's not. So like that. And try to do it on the same this side as well. Let's go. Why about that? Grant, have you ever been skiing? No, I have not. Um, but I have family that live in Austria. They go skiing all the time. So, but no, I've, I've never done that before. I'd always imagine that I'd totally fail. I'd look like I would. Uh, but my little cousin uh, broke her her arm or leg once going skiing. But yeah, they're they're like really professional. They do it all the time, but no, I've never been. I'd love to do uh, snowboarding. That's probably like the same thing. But no, it's not something I would definitely want to do, but I would like to try. Yeah, I've been ice skating. I've done that 
a few times. Oh, completely bad. As you would expect. So I need to glue these more. So I'm just trying to hide all the extra parts between the layers. So it's definitely starting to come together. I mean, once the neck gets really thinned down, and then it will look much better. So as it's like that, oh, this part's sticking up. Hey, you whooper, still on the show. So like that. So that's what I'm aiming for, like insect eyes, or I could even get a wee tool to, once it's all in place, I could get out like a wee, um, Impression tool and then just like make more dense for eyes. I could do that. My sister ice skates. Um, she'd also try cross country skiing. Uh, what's that one called where it's not it's skiing or snowboarding but it's down, it's on, it's on like the ropes? You, you do it down a hill. I, I've, I've done that, I've done that before. Um, that, that was years ago. Do you know what that's called? I can't remember the name of it. I think it was on skis, but you're going on ropes. Uh, you're going down on ropes instead of obviously snow. I need, I need, I need to look up, but I've done that. So that's basically the, the equivalent to it. What would I do if I screwed up on my region? Or are you asking anyone? Uh, from Depends how much I screw up. Like, have you got an example of screwing up? Like, pre-creasing wrong or... I mean, pre-creasing wrong is fine. I mean, it, it takes time to add the correct creases, but... They may affect you in a way of collapsing. Maybe a bit more confusing, but... Um, don't generally see the results. Of it at the end. Yeah, uh, super. I'll I'll let you know. Like, I'll I'll get the name of it. It's definitely a thing. I just can't remember the name. But yeah, it just depends how much you screw up on region. Considering it's um, like a complex model and it takes forever. So the eyes are starting to come together. Hopefully you can see that fine. It's like brains, brain eyes, and I'll keep the mouth. Oh, Abby, did you just join, by the way? Yeah, I think you did. Uh, messing up the legs on a collapse. Again, it depends how much you mess up. Um, like, you could collapse it perfectly, but shape it bad, or... You could collapse it bad, but shape it really good. It just depends the type of shaping. Like, mush shaping, like uh, mush shaping, is basically what I would do here. I mean, if this was a region leg shaped bad, to get to this, you, you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference, honestly. It just depends what aim you're going for. But um, And again, it just depends if you can fix it, if you can correct what you've done, if it's not too late. Now you can collapse it bad, but you can also un unfold it and then touch up parts to help um, put it back together. I mean, that, that, that's, that, that's a possibility. I don't know what I would do if I did that for mine. I'm try I don't really see a way 
uh, to mess up the leg collapse, but again, it's just all depends on what you're planning to do. And it's just hiding these, trying to make it nice and round. So it definitely came together really nicely. Again, off camera, I'll touch it all up. Um, I'll hide all these extra layers. I'll glue it all. Once it all once all the glue dries, I can tuck it. I can tuck them in even more, and so on. Oh yeah, uh, Abby, I forgot to say. Yeah, um, this is an ancient dragon Chad. He walks on Chads. If you never noticed that, so this little guy right here. He's got two legs, he's got two arms. The left arm has been uh, slightly buffed. He only works out with his left arm. His right arm is like pointing upwards and he's got two little feet. He walks on chads. The chadinator, spider-ish, ancient dragon 4.0. Take that, come here. Take that. I'm only joking, I'm only joking, but yeah. I thought of this idea, like if you, uh, like, if, if you go back to when I was shaping this part, um. I just came at me. I just, I just quite fun to me. I can shape it like a human, and then it works on a human. So pretty funny. Um, I'll do this one as well. Yeah, it's nice and it's getting hard though. Um, so let's do the legs first. I mean, is there enough paper to pull out a peepee? -pee? <laughs> I don't think there is. That would, that would be funny. Maybe the back legs. I could do something with that. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, I'll put, I'll do this arm up, like he's flexing. And this arm up as well. So like that. That making sense? And then I'll just, I'll just do feet again. Lopo just cut his back to me. <laughs> he's just, he's not facing me one bit. My back. Just... I, I could give him a wee knee, maybe. Nah, the paper's too thick. Nope. But for the arm, I'll thin this part down, but let me try this. I'll hold it here to keep it nice and thin and then I'll just, I need to do it flat I'll squish this part so it hopefully buffs up um, let me see. try and fold it inside, cover over how does that look? Oh, I could do one big arm and then one thin arm. How about that? Well, let me just give him a wee hand. Alright, well, this doesn't look like it. Yeah. How about that? Is that looking any better? Um, so I'll need to just thin that part down. So he's got a longer forearm and a shorter top part. But that's good enough. I need to try and round the muscle up. Oh wait, I could just I could pull this layer up. Round the arm up more. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that off camera, but that's good enough for now. Yeah, and I'll do this one really thin, as thin as possible. So to make it as thin as possible, easy, just tweezer one part, 
these are the next and then just you know, I need to get a better uh, uh, grip. Oh, the stream's froze. Is the stream froze? Bro, it's just on the tablet right now. Let me try and get uh, another stream. Right now, um, please load up. Oops, I took care. Wait, one second, I need to get the stream back up. Froze on the tablet. There we go. Yeah. We're back. Yep, yeah, we're back. Um, so yeah. Hold here, hold here and just oops, missed. Just squish. Apply as much pressure as possible. That. I just need to angle up and then there we go we have one thick arm his right arm is super muscular has oh, yeah, you can see it better like that his left arm is super thin and then he's got again two feet he's too small to give him knees but yeah, that's good enough and then I just need to angle it. Again, all this will get completely squished in because these um, layers are all connected. I need to glue it all and then just force all this paper inside and then form it as best as I can for, for like... I could even bring this one up. That. However, I want to make it look really wonky and weird. But yeah, that is basically the stream. It kind of reminds me of dice. Yeah, it's meant to be funny shapey. Yeah, or the yeah. <laughs> Here's the proof. This is kind of what my clock looks like. No, doesn't mean. Don't say that. Where is it? It's frozen on the stream again. No, it's not. I'm just. Yeah, I'm not moving my hand, that's why. Um, will you make a tutorial for your paper if you get 30,000 subscribers? No, I won't. No tutorials for paper. But I could do tutorials for paper that I'm not selling. Um, I could do that. Also, because it's a business, in a way, then there's no point in teaching you, otherwise I won't. Uh, there'd be no point in selling. That makes sense, but that's why I don't. Obviously, teach you because everybody wants to know. It's one of the most asked things of me. Right, that is the end of the stream, everyone. I'm going to stop it right here. So, we got the two legs done. We got two chads done. We have Chad here with his arm up. And then Chad, too. I've lost him. Here. One thin arm, one big arm. And then we have the the, the eyes for the, the head. And then the mouth. And yeah, that is that. I will do the rest over the next few days to get to look. I'll probably need to shrink this down a lot. Maybe do the pleat more so I can get more thinness. But anyway, that is... Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, what if you get 5 million subscribers? Probably not. <laughs> Again, this is super important to me. Um, I don't know. Again, instead of wanting to know how, how I make mine, you can always try and make yours. I mean, that's how a single Gucci toilet paper tutorial. I could do that. Right, and everyone, thank you for watching. Um, Going to end the stream now. I'm quite hungry. Lopper wants out. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I can't wait to share this spectacular fold of the Ancient Dragon. The best you will ever see in your life. You will just be gobsmacked. Um, yeah. So that is it. Thank you for watching, everyone.
And I don't know how to stop this. Oh yeah, there we go. Right, 